Hello everyone. Today, I'll show you how to install wgit on Windows. wgit is a free tool that helps you download files from the web using the command line. First, open your command prompt to see if wgit is already installed. You can do this by pressing the Windows key, typing cmd, and opening the command prompt. Then, type wgit-v. If you get a message saying wgit is not recognized as an internal or external command, that means wgit is not installed on your system. Next, we need to download wgit. Open your browser and search for wgit download for Windows. Find the official wgit executable file for Windows and download it. Once the download is complete, go to your downloads folder and locate the wgit executable file. Now, we need to move this file to the System32 folder so that wgit can be accessed from any location in the command prompt. Go to the C, Windows, System32 directory. You can either navigate to it directly or search for System32 in the File Explorer. After you have both the Downloads folder and the System32 folder open, Copy the wgit executable file from your downloads folder and paste it into the system32 folder. You may be asked to grant permission for this action. Once the file is moved, wgit should now be accessible globally. To confirm that wgit is installed correctly, go back to the command prompt and type winget-v. You should now see the version of winget displayed. You can also type winget help to see a list of available commands and options. And that's how you install wgit on Windows. You can now start using it to download files from the web via the command line. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free. So click the link in the description to sign up.